It's Glenny with A Nurturing Moment Live, and I'm here with Rebecca Armstrong, and we're going to talk today about surviving the holidays with your breastfeeding baby. And I just realized that I don't have my glasses on, and I'm not going to be able to see any questions. So, Rebecca, if we get questions, can you see? Ish. Ish. <laughs> old glasses. All right, so we're going to maybe be leaning in if we get questions, but... <laughs> We're excited about talking about the holidays. I'm all Christmassy. She's all Christmassy. Christmas is a great time of the year. Rebecca, tell me a little bit about how you're approaching this holiday season with your in-laws and your family and all that goes on. You've got a huge family. You. Um, <laughs> gratefully, my husband backs me up, so he's really, really supportive of breastfeeding, which helps a lot so I know that if there were to be any interference or any comments he would be supportive of it. That's so helpful and that's really one of the key points I want to bring out here. I wrote a blog, oh in 2011 I think, it's called Christmas with the In-Laws or Outlaws. You can find it at a nurturingmoment.blogspot.com mm -hmm. search Christmas and one of the key points I talked about there was dad. Dad is one of the most important parts of making Christmas with your nursling function, having a supportive husband. If his family is not supportive, then it's his job to run interference for you. Yep. And I'm, overall, they've been supportive so far, and it's been good. I am the, I think, longest nursing in public mm -hmm. of any of the family. Um, so I'm a little on the edge of the crunchy that they're uh -huh. not used to. Yeah. But so far they've been pretty supportive. I haven't gotten any comments and they don't they respect my choices and trying to wait to feed my baby things. So, so let's talk about Christmas craziness. Craziness, yes. Are y'all gonna be with his family some? It's the month of Christmas is a crazy <laughs> month. We have my family Can you relate to this? <laughs> his family his whole family is from Gardendale. Um, kind of area down towards Birmingham. So his mom's whole side, his dad's side. So we have things with his mom's family, things with his dad's family. The whole weekend is kind of crazy, or the whole month. It's off and on with everyone. Okay, so baby needs to nurse, and you've got a 10-month-old now who's still actively breastfeeding. And he's very, very distracted while breastfeeding now. All right, so 10-month-old, can you all relate to 10-month-olds who are very distracted at breastfeeding? It's like, ooh, I'm going to nurse. Ooh, what's that over Just there? Kidding. Yeah, and so it, it can be an eyeful kind of thing sometimes. Yeah. How are you going to deal with that? Usually I'll just kind of sit and nurse, but when he's a little more distracted, it's one of the times I actually do t step away for me personally. Mm -hmm. I don't feel the need to kind of step away often. This is what my body's designed to do, and it's what I right. do, and I nurse my baby. But when he is a little more distracted, just because I per personally don't want to, like, flash my nipple all the time. <laughs> and when he's distracted, it's what happens. I remember Summer feeling that gym, way. You know, nurse tap, gym nurse sticks, it's our thing lately. Mm -hmm. um, so, and for me with the postpartum depression and everything, sometimes I need to step away. Right. And so I take it as an excuse, and it's nice just I step away, I can get him to nurse, I can take a breath, and everyone just leaves us alone usually, which is so nice. And I think that's a really good way to approach it. You know, if you're at someone's house, whether it's your parents or your in-laws, and you do have a very distracted nurser, or you've got people there who are just really not all about you nursing, I think it's a great idea to just gently excuse yourself. Probably it's a good idea to figure out the how space. to do that, the, the space ahead of time, and figure out how to do that around the meal time so maybe go nurse before meal time yeah. um, make sure that when it's when it's time for everybody to be together for something big that you're there I think that can help to minimize some of the conflict and some of the the criticism yeah. that that can happen it's hard when you've got critical in-laws or critical family members um, if you have any questions about this topic, feel free to leave them in the comments, and we will try to answer them. Make sure you take a look at that blog. I'm going to show it to you right here. I, I've even printed it off for you. It's Christmas with the in-laws or outlaws. Hopefully yours are in-laws, not outlaws. I've been blessed with in-laws. I was blessed with in-laws, too, and I'm hoping my son just got married Saturday. Yay. I hope that 
his new wife will look at us as the blessing. I don't even call her my daughter-in-law. I call her my daughter-in-love. And I hope that we will always have that kind of relationship. Well, Merry Christmas. And if you have topics you want to talk about this month, let me know.